Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people don't really talk about when it comes to having a small business and that is what to do when you don't have any sales. So like I was saying, I'm going to talk about what to do when you don't have any sales. I know, it's sad, it's depressing, you're crying, I'm crying, I've been crying, um, but eventually we have to stop crying. <laughs> I know that, see, I feel like that's the hardest part, is to stop crying. Because it has been a slow, slow summer. I mean, granted, I do make candles and, you know, candles and now room sprays and diffusers, but it's just, it's been slow. It's been really slow. Um, watching studio vlogs of other small businesses and creators, it's been slow kind of all around the summer. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with COVID. People are back outside, enjoying going to stores, being in stores, and just having fun, being with each other. And I can't blame people for that. But like, you know, you could still shop online. It's fine, you know. Bring a candle with you when you go. It'll smell nice. It'll look nice. I'm just saying. But anyway, so some things you could do while you're not getting sales. One thing I've been really trying to do is up date and upgrade my photography um mainly because i've been really lazy about it and so i've been really trying to work hard on product photos and getting those changed on my website and my etsy i kind of let my etsy fall down to the wayside which was not good on my part as i was working on getting my own website um because you know if etsy decides to close up shop tomorrow or if etsy decides to close your shop tomorrow then your sol and I really didn't want that to happen to me or anything like that. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and create my own website on Shopify. Um, so I've been going back through and updating product photos and listings and descriptions and things like that that are just really tedious um, and are kind of time consuming, but you have to do it. And I am no website designer. I. I struggle. I spend a lot of time on YouTube and the internet trying to figure out the best way to do it, how to make things flow, how to make things look better, and I'm still getting pictures up of myself and other things. So two, keep posting on social media. It's hard to post on social media when you don't have any sales because a lot of people, you know, do a lot of like packaging videos, behind the scenes, things like that. Keep posting on social media, whether it just be a cute photo of your product on some shelves, on a table, you know, just going around and making, um, making cute product photos of, of your things because just making people, letting people know that you still have a business <laughs> and you still keep going. So whether that be Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm trying to get so much better at TikTok, um, which is its own thing after trying to struggle with Instagram. And then, you know, Instagram drops this bombshell that it's no longer going to be a photo sharing platform. And everyone's like, so what are you then? But anyway, that's a completely different topic too. <laughs> So making sure that you're still posting on your social medias, even when times are slow, even when times are slow. Um, another thing I've been working on is I really want to get into wholesale markets. I really want to get into, into stores and things like that. So I've been kind of positioning myself behind the scenes to make it make it into wholesale markets and into stores and making line sheets and catalogs and things like that. So that way, if if I am lucky enough that somebody has decided they want to put my product in their store, I, um, they can. <laughs> they can, they can easily make an order without it being a whole bunch of hassle, a whole bunch of back and forth or a lot of hassle on their part. Um, I've also been on top of wholesale I've been networking with places that I really want my candles to be in things that I feel like are my target demographic now that I know what that is I've talked in a different video of how I started without knowing my target demographic and how everything went fine but it probably could have gone better 
Um, but now that I do know what my target demographic is, I've been networking and handing out business cards and talking and emailing and doing all that kind of things. Um, speaking of emailing, emailing people <laughs> is such like, I already, I don't like talking on the phone in the first place. And then now you have to, now I have to email somebody and be like, Hey, you want to put myself in your shop? <laughs> And I feel like that's gonna be just so awkward and it's so hard to do that. And sometimes it's really hard to put yourself out there, but you just have to do it. You just have to put yourself out there and let people know that there is a product that is available for them that will look great in their shop and how it complements their brand and everything that they do. And then you have to figure out wholesale or consignment. Um, I'm still kind of learning the difference between wholesale, well not the difference between wholesale and consignment, but I guess the best consignment plan if someone decides to do consignment, okay? So, but the short version is wholesale is someone buys a bulk, a bulk items of your product and you give them a wholesale price and they pay you upfront. Consignment is you place your product in their store and if it sells, then you get part of those profits back. So, it, de it depends on which, which way you want to go. Most people prefer the wholesale route because like I said, you get the money regardless if your product sells or not. Consignment, if your product is just sitting on their shelves, you might not get money for a while. And then you have to sometimes, you know, be up on if they are, if they are even promoting your product or not promoting your product, but like, um, if they have your product where people can even see it, like, do you have your own shelf? Is it just dispersed? You know, there's just a lot of different, there's a lot of different things that come with being in shops and in boutiques. And so I am slowly navigating those waters. Um, if you guys want me to talk about it more and like behind the scenes videos, I can do that um, as I figure that out. <laughs> um, and I guess finally, one of the final things that you can definitely do while while you're not having any sales is plan for the next big adventure. So it's the summer. So if you're not working on your fall collection, then you're already behind. Okay? If you're like if it's fall and you're not working on your ho on your holiday and winter collection, you're already behind. So I've already started working on my fall collection so that way when I'm ready to drop my fall collection, probably soon, um it'll be ready to be put out and I'm really excited about that and so you have to remember like you want your stuff to drop when the stores are changing when all that stuff is changing and people start to think about these things and so that way you're one of the first ones in their mind so just something to think about also save your money don't continue buying things you don't need um while you have this dry spell so that way when you do need something like more wax more wicks especially with there being with the prices of wax just skyrocketing. Um, the, the prices of glass and all that kind of stuff, just ev everything is elevating. So while everything is getting more expensive, you definitely wanna save your money so that way when, when you really need something, you have the money to purchase it. <laughs> or else you can't. I mean, unless you're buying it on your business credit card, you know, there's pros and cons to having a business credit card as well. You know, personally, I do everything on a, my business debit card versus having everything on my credit. So that way I don't have to worry about being in debt in my business currently. Um, when I decide to kind of scale my business a little bit more or do something more um, specific for my business or more, more personalized, then I'll worry about getting business credit. Um, so just all things to kind of think about. So... All this to say, stop crying. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> stop crying. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through the summer, through this hot girl summer. We are going to start with our fall. We're going to start with our winter. And we're going to get really excited for people to buy Christmas presents and all of those fun and exciting things. Okay? Okay. So go make a to-do list. Go work on some things. Get your planner out and sit down and get those things done so that way you can be the best boss bitch you can be. Okay? Okay. 
So that is it for me today, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias. And of course, check out my website, which is linked down below. Which, by the way, on my Etsy shop, we are now offering international shipping on Etsy. So you would have to search me on Etsy. I'll, I mean, I'll link it down below, too. Um, we're now offering international shipping over there. And until next time... Keep the spark.